It's the Solaro De Grow Light, and this is our 12 inch fixture. It's got a 12 inch diameter light fixture, and you get 20 opto semiconductors in this. Those are kind of LEDs on steroids. They have a lot more intensity of light and clarity of color. There are 15 of the red and five of the blue. The red lights are at about 656 nanometers. I have to look at my notes, excuse me. Um, nanometers as far as the, the um, wavelength of the light. And the blue is at 455 about. And so those, both, both of those areas are very important for growth of plants. You get the maximum chlorophyll absorption as well as um, with the blue light, it's carotenoid absorption. Sorry if that's not the right word, but that's how I read it. Um, with these lights, you have a lot more energy savings than you'll have with any other kind of light. You've got at least 40% plus energy savings, as well as you don't have any UV that's produced, which is an extraneous kind of a thing. You don't have much heat. Um, obviously, I'm not that far from the light, and with most grow lights, you'd be able to feel heat at that point. You can, you can touch the light fixture and it wouldn't be an issue at all, so you don't have that extraneous heat that can be an issue with growing plants. Um, let's see, you get 50,000 to 100,000 hours, maintenance free, um, great product. You can have it powered by the solar panels, or we can do another, other types of wiring with that as well. Um, so you have the option of being either AC or solar? You can do AC, you can do solar. Okay, and you can do one where you can actually switch back and forth where you can use the solar during the day and then it would switch to the AC power at night? Right, if you do, if you want to have that type, we want to make sure that the light that you order is a CC fixture, that's a charge controlled fixture. And what that affords us is the opportunity to go from the solar panel um, or you can use it directly with AC with a transformer. And um, you can use the CC fixture for both of the, both AC and DC as long as you have that transformer available. So this being a brand new introduction introductory product from Solaro, how how have you seen it work with your plant that you've got in in the room now? Well, we just I'm not so great at taking care of plants, so we have had this plant in for I want to say two weeks now, and. Um, we see new growth even down here on these lower leaves. We see small little areas of growth and you can see the small leaves that are obviously not more than a couple of weeks old at, at the, you know, they, they started after the plant came in here. And all the foliage up here, the leaves are going growing towards the light. So it ob obviously is very happy with the light that it's providing. Um, our only issue is I keep forgetting to water it, so if it's not growing well, it's probably my fault, not so much the, the light's fault. Perfect. Any other facts on the light other than, I mean, I understand noise can be a factor with a lot of lights. There's not any moving part with the opto semiconductors. They're much more like LED lights that are, that are supercharged, and so you don't need to worry about any movement. You're not going to have any sounds, obviously. It's very quiet in here and you don't have to deal with that humming sound that you get with a lot of the other types of grow lights. And you were saying that it, it's, not, it's like LEDs on steroids. Mm -hmm. What is it that actually makes it different or unique? They are the opto semiconductors. I'm not the engineer that knows exactly, but the opto semiconductors are very specifically formulated for more intensity of light, and it's a lot better light color control um, than you can get with any other types of light. Oh, I can talk about the efficiency of the light. That's the other thing. What about the efficiency of the light? With the opto semiconductors, you have a 37% efficiency in the red range and a 54% efficiency in the blue range. Most other types of lights, like incandescent or fluorescent, um, or even the high-pressure sodium, produce a lot of waste energy, and they have about a 20% efficiency. So that that's telling you that the energy that you're putting into the light fixture is being used at a, at a maximum kind of capacity at about 37% of the energy going directly into becoming a light. Whereas with fluorescence or the, the um, let's see, the sodium lights, you don't, you have closer to 20%. And on the electric, from a savings standpoint, you were saying it's roughly 40% Mm -hmm. savings and that's if it were AC all the time that's Correct. not taking solar into Correct. consideration so if you were to go solar during the day and AC at night obviously there would be a dramatic right 
And this light uses about 12 watts of energy. So that's not much at all when you consider a 100 watt bulb will use 100 watts of energy, you know, if it's an incandescent. This one uses about 12 and you're getting the very focused color wavelengths that you need for growing plants. Well, again, it's exciting, these new products from Solaro. So we'll just look for some more details as, as they come out on the grow lights and how your test uh, centers work out. Thank you.